Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the We All Juggle Knives channel. Yeah, this knife broke. CRKT muzzle break. I need some advice from the steel experts out there. Here is a closer look. This is uh, 8CR13 Chinese stainless steel. That looks pretty rough. I mean, that looks like concrete to me. Yeah, I need some steel experts to weigh in. Like, what can you tell, if anything, just from looking at that close-up of... Uh, you know, the inside, the part where it broke. I'm not a metallurgist, but I, it just doesn't look very, it doesn't look very good to me. But I'm open-minded. Yeah, so in the comments section, weigh in if you can tell anything about the steel from that uh, closer look. But it's funny that this is called the muzzle break. It's not supposed to be that kind of break. All right, let's see what it did before it broke. I have to say that this knife actually accomplished a lot and took up a lot, a lot of abuse before breaking. I was really surprised that it broke. It actually just broke during a, a stab test, not batoning or anything like that. All right, here it is just uh, carving. Now, in the advertisements uh, for this, they say not only is it a hunting knife, but they also say you can chop with it at camp and that you can build a shelter with it. All right, so building a shelter is usually considered either a, a survival task or a bushcraft task, and camp chopping is camp chore, right? So that's, that's the reason I reviewed it as a general purpose knife instead of just something for cutting up meat. Now about this steel, uh, 8CR13 MOV, I've had many knives of that steel, but they've all been folding knives, and... Uh, you know, now I think I see why. Uh, first fixed blade with that steel and probably the last fixed blade that I would buy uh, with, with that steel. But there you see it did pretty good at carving a, a little spike, a little shank of freedom. Here it is making a notch in a piece of wood with the crosswise batoning method. And please excuse all the birds in the background. They're, they're just trying to live their little birdie lives. <laughs> All right, you would think it might break from something like this, but no, it was perfectly fine getting smashed. Um, it did not break from that. It, you know, this might be a weird time to say it, but I gotta thank CRKT for sending me this to test. Um, there's the notch that it made, cleaning it up a little. Yeah, they sent this to me to test out, and um, test it I did, I guess. You know... Sometimes, if a knife breaks, people say, you must have been biased, you must have did it on purpose for views. Nah, dude, I'm actually biased. If I'm biased, it's in favor of CRKT, not against them, but I wasn't biased either way. This is just what happened, and I mean, I'm not going to cover it up, obviously. And obviously, they wouldn't have sent it to me to test out if they thought I was, like, a bad tester. There it is, drilling some divots. But yeah, I was all set to... Um, give this a positive review. You know, it did very well on a bunch of tasks, even a bunch of really hard tasks that were kind of abusive and it didn't break. And then just right at the end, it broke. So there you see the uh, CRKT knife stripping some bark off of a branch. Uh, we had a tree that died recently and that was uh, one of its pieces. All right, we got some batoning coming up. Now keep in mind, it was advertised as able to do camp chores, so, you know. And again, you would think maybe it would break from this. Nah, dude, it was fine. It was fine batoning, and I was hard on it. You see me hitting it like a caveman. Hit it like you mean it, bro. You're trying to simulate a lot of use, you know. Um, but it did fine in the batoning. And I know there's going to be one or two people who own this knife and enjoy it and have used it. And they're going to be mad, like, as if, as if I'm personally attacking them. Which is certainly not my intention. I'm not dissing on anyone who uh, uses this knife and uh, and it works for them. Not at all. Alright, so there you see it made some quick work of uh, making little little kindling. A little kindling there with some wood that had a bunch of knots in it and it did fine with the batoning. Alright, here's some crazy stuff now. You might think it broke here. No, it, it did not break here, although I was afraid it might pretty much supporting the whole weight of uh, that like slice of wood with just uh, a bit of the tip. Now you might think this is what weakened it. 
This was actually before the batoning, because as you can see, there's no batoning marks on it. So no, this didn't weaken it, because if it had been weakened here, the batoning would have broke it. Alright, and here it is right after that weight hang test, just to, I just wanted to show that there's no, you know, there's no fractures, there's no stress cracks. Right after the weight hang, this is why I, I was really surprised, because it, it withstood that. All right, more hard use. I'm, I choke down on it and I chop really hard into the uh, Stumpo Truth with it. Now, I don't chop with a knife this short, but they advertised it as being able to be a camp chopper. So I tested it as such. It survived that, by the way. Okay, the break is coming up. The break is coming up. This is just the stab test. All right, uh, two more and it breaks on this one. Boom. Did you see it? Broke. Happened very quickly. I was shocked. I mean, after I did all kinds of crazy stuff to it, it just breaks from stabbing a log. All right, here's a slow motion. Listen to the sound. You can hear it break. There, did you hear it? Now, it was like a few milliseconds off because of the slow-mo, but it was definitely that hit that broke it. Now, after it broke, you know, that the knife went off to the side at an angle because that's what happens when something suddenly gives way. But I checked the slow motion footage several times, and before it broke, I was almost straight in with the stab. It was maybe 10 degrees off, so not unduly tilted. So that was the story, man. I was shocked because it didn't break during batoning. It did not break during the weight hang test, which is controversial. I don't even know if I'm going to keep doing that. I've only done that in two videos. But here's, here's the close-up again from inside with uh, more focus on the camera. Yeah, so again, any any steel experts that can tell anything from that shot, uh, feel free to weigh in. Do I think this would have broken if it was a different steel? You know, I've done stabbing tests with SE knives, with TOPS knives, with OKC knives, and almost all of those were 1095 high carbon steel, and none of them broke, so... No, I don't I don't think like a tops knife any of my tops knives would have uh, broken from the same action. I think the tip probably got weakened when I was pulling it out and I pulled it from side to side, which was on purpose because that's a standard test. I mean, that's been done by other reviewers. Uh, you know, check out PM101's review of of the second version of Jess X, the one that Schrade messed up and uh he snapped the tips off those, but the original, he did the same, you know, moving it side to side with the tip embedded and it did not break. Now, as for moving the blade side to side after you stab it in, you know, that's something people requested that I do. You know, sometimes if I wasn't applying enough lateral force with the tip testing, uh, people would say, hey, that's not a good tip test. All right, so that was intentional and it didn't look like this knife could withstand it. So in the end, I think it broke just because I just think the steel was not able to withstand the lateral force that was applied to the tip as I was pulling it out during the uh, stab tests. And But that was an intentional part of the test. So, and I, I don't think that other knives would have failed that. Oh, here's the CRKT Woods Nobo. I want to show you some stuff you can use, you know, some stuff that didn't break and that I can actually recommend because I want the video to be useful for you to acquire gear, not just to uh, hate on something. All right, so take a look at the Woods Nobo. This is from my review of it. But yeah, I have no doubt that CRKT would honor their warranty if I wanted to uh, send in that knife that broke, but I'm not going to do that because they sent it to me to begin with. I'm not going to, uh, you know, leech on them that badly. I'm just going to regrind the tip on the knife and just, uh, yeah, I'll just regrind it and use it that way. But all right, let's go out with some recommendations. These are my top picks for CRKT. We got the Nobo, the Chogun, the Kanji Tomahawks. I also recommend their Ken Onion series machetes, the, the, uh, the Half a Chance and the Chance in Hell machetes and uh, Parang. Uh, there's four different models. I'll include all those links. And I also recommend their entire James Williams series of folders and fixed blades. And I will include those links, right? And all the tomahawks and machetes are carbon steels. They're not, 
They're not stainless steel like this knife that broke. All right, well, that about wraps up this review, you know. Made some people cry, made some people hate me, perhaps, made some people hate a company, recommended some other stuff from that same company, confused some people, thrilled some people who just like to see stuff broke. But, yeah, I think my job is done here. Chaos disorder, you you know the drill. Oh, and if you're going to get mad, uh, keep in mind... I very rarely break knives. I Maybe one out of a hundred. That's not that many, okay? So check out my other videos before you rage on me. I don't think that'll be a problem because the muzzle break wasn't not really that widely owned a knife. Sorry, Sarah KT. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.